Hi, this is Ali Shanma. Whenever it gets messy this way, that means Ali Shanma is working on something. Well, I'm gonna upgrade, I mean, change the elevator for my DIY glider. And, by the way, before I start working on it, ooh, lots of hot glue. Hot glue is one of the best inventions in this world. So, uh, <coughs> before I show you this, um, I'm, what I'm gonna do on this one, I show you what I just created. Okay, so we are still working on this one. Um, the servos are a bit slow on this one. This is the professional camera mount. We had a testing yesterday on KDS 700. So I'm gonna show you that one as well. The videos will be uploaded very soon. Right here. Huh. So this is my DIY stabilized camera mount for fixed wing aircraft. So camera can auto level for the banking if the plane is banking. Later I will add pen on it right under here. So let me show you what it is. So it's a little bit dark but here we are. Uh, so if the plane is banking it should compensate and I can actually set the FY30A to actually make it move more or less and in the camera. So let me show the footage and it's shooting and I'm here so I will bank it slowly. That's how my plane will bank, possibly. So if I'm the plane and I move bank here and bank here, so the camera is actually compensating. In fact, the plane will not be dancing this way in the air like I'm doing, but um, for instance, if I'm flying the plane slowly, like BD-5E, uh, using elevators, and I make slow turns, it should compensate. If I make fast turn, the speed still compensates it. So I can actually make the camera move more or less, uh, uh, configuring the dial on FY38 aileron, and see what is the best result coming out. Okay, so now this is the footage from GoPro without stabilization. So if there's no stabilization and as a plane, if I'm banking, you can see the result. All right, and you can see the result with the camera a stabilization mount that I made. And this is natural visual camera stabilization. Check it out. <laughs> see his head he stays in one horizontal position to keep his visuals stabilized. Well, this gave us the idea to make the stabilization mount. Unfortunately, we cannot show the video through these cameras, the 3D cameras, because we haven't got the plug, the USB cable to plug in the computer. So, I hope this camera mount is going to work. There's one KDS servo here only. Let me turn this one off. Okay, one KDS servo, the camera is glued to the servo horn with a three, a double way 3M tape and FY30A is connected to the aileron with the gimbal uh, stabilization mode. So basically, it's actually very sweet. So at the moment, you can see, let me hold it right, camera moves right a little bit so I can actually make it move more or less. For instance, if I put the dial more, you can see camera is actually moving much more and changing its um, angle, which is not desired for the shooting. So I will basically put the dial where I feel the camera is actually getting horizontal. So here I feel the camera is much more horizontal on pan, uh, banking. So uh, this is it. We are going to give it a try. Under it I will mount another servo for pan. So first we will test how this stabilization is working and then we will put the pan on it. This will be sweet. Let's see what kind of results. Come.